weather with Tom Kiffin. And not too bad of a summer day across Upper Michigan today, and it turned into a pleasant evening as well. As we look at our infrared satellite picture, we can see that we do have some high cloudiness starting to move into parts of the UP, especially near the Wisconsin border. And you can see at the bottom part of your TV screen, we do have some rain showers across parts of the Northwoods of Wisconsin and moving into Green Bay and the Fox Cities. But those rain showers will stay to the south of the Michigan Wisconsin border. Here's a look again at the Keweenaw Peninsula rainfall amounts just unbelievable. Hancock picking up almost seven inches of rain. Houghton had a rain measurement of 6.3 inches, while the Houghton County Airport north of town, north of Houghton and Hancock, picked up 6.23 inches. Lorium, 6.22 inches of rain. Frida, four and a half inches of rain. Kearsarge, about two and a quarter inch of rain. And Copper Harbor picking up an inch of rain, and that's pretty good with even an inch of rain. As we look at the rest of our weather forecast, what's ahead? We're looking at dry weather for the rest of this week. And during the afternoon hours, we will have warm temperatures, but we will have a couple of cool nights, but we'll have localized lake breezes setting up as well. And that will mean some cooler conditions closer to the Great Lakes. Here's our local three in-house computer model, local three feature cast indicating clouds and precipitation. And we can see we'll have some of the high clouds moving through parts of the upper peninsula through the overnight hours. But as we go into the daytime on Tuesday. We are looking at dry conditions, clear skies tomorrow night. Light winds is going to lead to another cool night. And then for the daytime on Wednesday, we'll have sunshine once again and high temperatures will be on the warm side during the afternoon hours. As we look at current temperatures, we can see we do have temperatures ranging from 58 for Munising, but still 61 for Iron Mountain, 64 the U.S. Coast Guard downtown Marquette, 57 for Houghton and 62 degrees for Escanaba, 66 for Menominee. Your forecast tonight looks like this. Mostly clear skies closer to Lake Superior partly cloudy skies closer to the Wisconsin border, south central UP. Look for low temperatures tonight around the 50 degree mark. A few spots could drop into the 40s. As we look at your keeping a local extended forecast first for the Keweenaw Peninsula and western UP. This is about the best case scenario you can have after a big flood. We're looking at multiple dry days with some cloud cover, but otherwise we're looking for sunshine during the day and warm to mild temperatures as well during the afternoon hours. Highs will range from the 60s along the lake shores to 70s in most locations. By Friday, we could have a couple of 80 degree readings well inland towards Kenton and over towards Rockland. As we look at the Marquette, keeping it local extended forecast, Marquette County, same deal. We're looking at temperatures that will be in the 70s right through Friday, maybe an 80 degree reading well inland south of Gwynn over towards Witch Lake. And then as we get into Saturday, we'll have a slight rain chance. As we go to the south central UP, we're looking at temperatures in the 70s right through Saturday with sunshine, maybe a few afternoon clouds, but those will be fair weather cumulus clouds. And then as we look at our low temperatures at night, you can see just a little bit on the cool side. For the eastern UP, from Munising to Sini, Grand Marais and Newberry, we're looking at temperatures also in the 70s, dry conditions as well. And then a slight rain chance comes in for the daytime on Saturday, but we'll have warm temperatures during the day, warm to mild and cooler nighttime lows. And then finally, along the Wisconsin border and in the interior west, we'll have cool nights. You can see there Wednesday night on the Thursday morning, we'll have lows in the 40s, but Temperatures are going to rebound pretty good during the afternoon with high temperatures around the 80 degree mark. Here's your fish and hot shot marine forecast for the daytime on Tuesday. We're looking at sunshine. Not too bad of a day out on the waters with just a little bit of a chop. You can always get your latest weather forecast on our website at upmatters.com. Well, thankfully, we have a few dry days.